Okay, so today we're installing some uh, Select Increments JL JT pods, and uh, this is a 2020 JL Wrangler. Uh, and basically, we already did the passenger side. I'll show you that real quick. So this has the premium system in it, so it has the separate uh, tweeters versus a standard system. Uh, wouldn't need that. It would just have the regular full range speakers. Uh, we're actually doing an install on a standard system next, and I'll just show you right here. This is how it looks for the standard systems. The tweeter hole you don't cut. Um, and once we get in the wiring in here, I'll show you, I'll explain why there's a difference. Um, it's, in the, it's in the wiring for the, the premium systems versus the standard systems. So, and I've already pre-installed this speaker and the tweeter, and I'm just going to show you what needs to be done to put this in here. So, the first thing that you need to do is remove the stainless factory grill cover screws and a Torx T30 driver will do it uh, or a 5 millimeter Allen uh, driver will do it. So there's four of them. You're going to save these because you're going to reuse them. pull the cover off. So the next thing is we need to remove the four inch and the three and a half inch speaker. We pull this little foam piece out too by the way. You don't need that. And we're going to remove the port tube. So the port tube takes the same size uh, driver. It's a Torx T30. So we'll pull this out. Four screws for it. And you just kind of jiggle it the right way, out it comes. And you also want to make sure that when you take that out, sometimes this little foam gasket can stay in place there. You want to pull this out too. Alright, so the next thing, we're going to use a Torx T20 driver and we're going to pull out factory speakers. And there's just two holding this little guy in place. There's a couple other things out there on the market that uh, you can drop bigger speakers in these Jeeps. Um, but what the problem with them is they make you cut a bunch of plastic out of the sound bar. This has a little clip right there. You push that in and that pops that out. Um, and then again it's a Torx T20 driver. There's three screws for the larger speaker. The other ones on the market uh, that I've seen, what they do is you can still drop a six and a half or a six and three quarter inch speaker in like you can with these JLJT pods. That's the whole idea. Uh, this one has a snap right there. You push that in, pop that out. Uh, but the thing is, <coughs> they make you cut all this plastic out. So you're going to have all these shards and, and stuff in your Jeep. Uh, some guys I've seen pull the whole sound bar out to do it. I think you could probably do it here, but you have to cut all this stuff out. But I'll show you real quick that the idea behind these pods, before I connect everything, is that the large speaker, that's about a standard size magnet, and you've got a decent sized hole right here. Plus you're going to have the whole internal volume of this pod. So what you're doing, you remove this, you got the air passage here, you got air passage around the magnet here, you've got a little air in here, and when you pop this up in place, that magnet drops through and into the entire sound bar with some room to spare, so there's air passage. So, 
that's in a nutshell that's the design here and that's what's cool is that you don't have to cut all of this stuff out um, again this is the Alpine premium system in this Jeep and the way that the uh, configuration is the crossover network in here already sends all the highs to the little speaker the uh, lows go to the four inch woofer right so basically what you're doing is you're going to send all of the highs to your tweeter and you're going to send all the basically the mids and the lows to the woofer and a standard system the Jeep we have to do next it's just this there's no tweeter and the reason being is that in a standard system you don't have the amplifier and the crossover network changing the frequencies and the way that it works in the standard systems is these two are both uh, this is 8 ohm and this is 4 ohm the speakers 4 ohm so you only plug into this one you don't you, you don't use this and you're not losing any power by doing it because what Jeep did in the standard systems is they wired these two in parallel so you're basically just skipping this one and sending all the power to this one it's 4 ohm and it's full range you get the full range sound for your full range speaker but that's the standard system that we're doing next so basically I installed the speaker first um, normally the install would be if you follow the instructions you'd be doing the tweeter first this hole would still be open um, you'd go ahead and affix this and screw it in place and then you'd put the speaker in but for purposes of this video it just I already had this installed so that's the way I'm doing it so what you do is you connect this little guy wrong way this little guy and then you connect the main speaker and these connection all these connectors uh, come with the kit so it's plug and play and then you make sure that the speakers are up in the re or speakers the connectors are up in the recesses and then you go ahead and fit this oh one other thing I already installed the foam gasket there's a foam gasket that comes with the, the pod so that you have like a real airtight seal all the way around up top here so that's already installed too so make sure the wires are cleared and going into the little cubbies there and make sure you're totally set up and pushed firmly against the uh, actual sound bar and then start running the screws in you're reusing the factory the same factory screws and the, the holes line up pretty nice these holes are all pre-drilled you don't have to do any of that um, when you get the kit with the kicker component systems the tweeter holes already cut but if you're gonna have the Alpine premium system and you're not buying the kickers that come with it and you're gonna drop your own speakers in your own components you're gonna have to cut this because they're very precise and it might not be the same size the kicker needs a 1 and 9 16 hole saw um, you might need something different for yours so you'll have to uh, use a hole saw on that but there's a little pilot bit in the plastic a little dimple for the pilot bit that lines it up perfect to drill it out. This is already cut all the time. This is a five and a half inch hole here, so this is already cut. All right, finish screwing this in place. Kind of just getting them started. I'm not totally finishing them. But now I'm going to start cinching them down. Yeah, when it squeaks like that, that's about seems to be. That's about when it's uh tight and good. Yeah, I'm squeezing a little. But there's brass fittings in the sound bar, so you can you can go pretty tight and get a good seal with that gasket up there. So that's about it. Uh hope you enjoyed the video. Hope that helps out. Thanks.